Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is I know that she will regret this. Very often you will see your girlfriend moving on into a direction where you go like, this is a mistake. I can see that this new man in your life is not a match for you. I can see that the career choice that you are making is a big mistake for you. In your reality, you might be like, this is what's going on. I can, I can see that this is a mistake. You will regret this. You will regret breaking up with me. And in the process of doing that, what you're trying to do is like trying to influence her, especially if you're having a conversation with her and you express this to her verbally, you might be like, what are you doing? This is a mistake. I don't trust you. I don't trust your judgment. I don't trust your ability to make your own choices. This is what you're really doing. And so when you project that lack of trust, when you project this desire to control her or direct her, guess what's going to happen? She's going to retreat or she's going to retaliate or she's going to kick you out of her life. Why? Because she's entitled to do what she wants with her life. There's a little bit of a nuance here is it's if you have children together, okay? If you feel that you're responsible for the well-being of your children, and there is a little bit there where there might be room for a little bit more feedback. But basically, if you don't have anything that is kept in common, you don't have a business together, you don't have uh, children together, you don't have a house together, everything, all that is left is just emotions right? Leftovers from the relationship. So the best way to relate to her is like, you do what you want. You're free. I want you to be free. I want you to go with what feels right to you. And so the message that she has to get from you on an energetic level, it's a message that opens your arms around her. Anything that sounds like control, right? Anything that sounds like I want to have hold or direction over some things that she, that she does is going to create resentment and resistance in her field. So that's the general idea. When you say, I know she will regret this, guess what? It's her right for self-determination to engage into whatever she feels is appropriate for her. You are not responsible for her. The moment you uncouple, she removes your right to tell her what to do. You have to keep that in mind. When you're coupling, there is a certain control exchange that happens between two beings, right? This is called coupling. There is a transfer of power. You become considerate towards each other. You watch for each other. In the process of doing that, there is a high degree of influence that you have over that human being and that other human being has over you, right? It's a kind of moral or energetic contract. The moment you uncouple, that contract is broken. She is free and you are free. If she comes into your life and says, this girl that you're dating, why are you dating her? She's not right for you. You go like, it's my life. I do what I want. I don't give you the right to tell me what to do. And yes, you can get feedback if you're open. You go like, hey, I'm dating this girl. What do you think about her? You know, maybe you are friends and you are having this conversation. She might be like, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like there isn't really the resonance for this to be long term. She might be giving you feedback or you might give her feedback, which is really inviting feedback. It doesn't come from a fixed agenda from a target of wanting to still control you. It doesn't come from jealousy. It doesn't come from something that might be negative towards your life. And so if there isn't, you know, there isn't this projection, yeah, open feedback is something that is really powerful. But <clears throat> the idea of you wanting to control an aspect of, your li of her life, judging her, not trusting her choices, She's going to retreat when you, when you express those thoughts, when you express those feelings. What you're really saying is like, I don't trust your judgment. I know it's a mistake. I don't trust your judgment. And so 
you know, between friends or between ex-lovers. The best is to be like, I don't know why you are doing what you're doing, but I feel fully back you up. I'm fully there for you. That's at least if you want to be friends, if you want to still be connected, if you want to engage in some light sensuality with your ex, that's still the kind of mindset that she needs to feel from you. She needs to feel your support, not your opposition. And uh, at least you know neutrality. The moment you start targeting her and trying to educate her or telling her what to do, she's going to retreat. It's going to create a space which is too con constricting for her. Yeah. So keep, keep that in mind. Open space. Let her go. Release control. Even if you feel that she's making a mistake, be like, it's your life. You're free.